Hello, and welcome to the Eric Kamadeka Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royston, my Stevenson head track and field coach, Eric Kamadeka. And coach, um, big weekend for you last weekend, another big weekend coming up this weekend. First, let's talk about last weekend, uh, and first of all, the pen relays. You came back with two wheels this year, one for the men and one for the women. Yeah, it was really exciting for us. You know, I was on my way up here, I was thinking, and you know, I wonder how many teams or programs have ever won it, both on the men's and the women's side of that race. Yeah. Uh, so it just shows really the depth of the team and the growth of our team and being able to not only just, you know, focus on the men or the women, the women and the men are both, you know, continuing to succeed at the same level. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, you had a few athletes compete up in Shippensburg. And, um, well, one, uh, Pat Watson, he had a great meet at the Penn Relays and then also um, on Saturday at Shippensburg. Yeah, uh, that was pretty phenomenal what he did to go break the school record by like six seconds or so uh, late Thursday night. I mean, he didn't run until probably 1030. And then he begged and pleaded with us that night and the next day to let him go up to ship on Saturday. So about a 36-hour turnaround or so. And he goes up and breaks the school record in the steeplechase uh, to give – you know, he did it for the team too yeah. because, you know, we're trying to battle for his conference championship coming up this weekend. And every point matters. And he saw that as an opportunity to help the team out. Yeah, absolutely. And so obviously, you know, if he's able to repeat that performance this weekend, you know, that's a few more points that maybe a couple of weeks ago you weren't counting on. Exactly. Now let's shift gears a little bit and talk about the conference championship this weekend. And obviously, um, you know, coming off the indoor, you know, championship and the strength performance for women, you're one of the favorites, but obviously on the men's side, Widener's there, and the Misericordia, Messiah, and the women's side all in the mix. So it should be a tight meet, just like the uh, indoor one was. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, you know, a lot of people, you know, automatically assume that we would go into it on the men's side winning, um, but it's two different seasons for right. a reason, you know, and you know, as much as some of the events are similar, you know, indoor meet and an outdoor meet are completely different things and changes a lot of different elements. But yeah, you know, yeah. Between the top four teams in the conference is going to be a battle. You know, I don't think one team is going to necessarily run away with it. Yeah, and like you said, I'm sure you've done all the projections, all the other coaches have as well. But it's up to the athletes this weekend to go out there and perform and put forth their best effort. Absolutely. You know, I, I sent them my projections this year. I usually don't send them projections. I don't want yeah. them to get caught up on it. But I think that's where we're at as a program now. We need to understand our competition, yeah. what the expectations are, so they see what it's like on paper. But at the end of the day, it's whoever comes out and competes. Yeah, and that meet kicks off tomorrow, Thursday night, with a few events. And then Friday and Saturday. Yep. So, um, uh, and actually, Weiner's offering a video stream of that all weekend. So, um, some of the events you can watch there, and they'll have live scoring as well. So, um, we'll be able to follow along, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. All right. For Coach Eric Kamadeka, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.